Well, it's cracking, guys. It's uh, late, and uh, I'm finally getting on on that valve adjustment, as uh, you can see. Um, already have the valve cover off. Um, basically, I already kind of missed that, but. So you just pull out the coil packs, take out all the screws around the valve cover, give it a couple hits. Uh, there's like a hose right here that hooks up to the intake, so you have to pull that off and then you wiggle it off. But um, I'm trying to figure out this crazy knocking noise that's in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adjusting all the valves uh, little by little. Let's see if I can zoom in a little here. Yeah, so simple, simple enough. There's a Phillips screw here, and I, I believe it's like a 10 millimeter nut. So you unscrew that a little bit and then you put the feeler gauge under there and then you try to tighten this up so you get a little bit of play. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there. I'll try to maybe get some footage or something while I'm doing this, but um, I really, I really, well, I really needed to do this because this clacking noise is fucking crazy and I don't know what it is and I'm worried. It's like, like I got a fucking time bomb going on here, but um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. Okay, so my buddy, uh, <laughs> my buddy Dave helped me kind of figure this out. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip the camera here. Uh, okay, so I basically had to adjust all of these rocker arms here. And uh, cool, cool tip, I guess. I pulled out all the spark plugs so that you can rotate the motor with the power steering pulley here. Um, makes it a lot easier so you don't have to actually use the crank pulley. But I came in here and, I don't know, where's that tool? Oh yeah, okay. So, we came in here with this fancy tool here that's basically like a, what is it, 10 millimeter? Something like that. And it locks on to the top of the rocker here. And then you have a Phillips screwdriver and it goes on top. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but you basically want to unscrew that a little bit and then you can twist the Phillips around to tighten or loosen it. And then, uh, yeah, you have a little feeler gauge. You run it under there to make sure that it's tight or it's not too loose. And that's, uh, that's the general, that's the gist of it. But yeah, um, I didn't really record myself doing a little too much. Um, my buddy was trying to help me, but in reality, let me get this, why am I so close to myself here? What's going on? There we go. But uh, yeah, the exhaust stuff was way out of whack. It was fucking crazy, but it seems to be a lot better now. So I'm hoping that when I turn it on, it doesn't sound like straight river dance underneath my valve cover. Um, but yeah, this is pretty straightforward. And uh, I wish I could explain it a lot better, but um, I just really need to knock it out because it's like 10 o'clock at night. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this back together and then get home. Hey, you, you wanna hold that? Yeah. Yeah, hold that towards there. All right, we're gonna turn this shit on. Hopefully it sounds a lot better though. Ugh. It's better, but it's not fixed. I don't know what it is, though. What's well, cracking, guys? It's uh, the next day, as you can tell. It's morning. Um, yeah, by the time I got home, it was like midnight, and I just, I was too tired. I wasn't really trying to do anything. So, uh, I'm here now in the morning. Um, just wanted to give, I guess, a little bit more context as to what was going on. I just need to run out to the car really quick. Ah, actually, can I put this right here? That might actually be pretty ideal. Yeah, I got the sun rays from craziness though. 
Cool. Yeah, that kind of works. Anyways, so I'm in the car. I actually have to go and do a bunch of errands this morning, but I thought I would come and give a little bit more context as to what's going on. Um, when I bought the car, uh, there was a really loud, like, ticking noise, you know, kind of like if you were really low on oil and you just kind of heard your lifters, like, super ticking. But, like, I'm not low on oil, and it it just it was ticking really loud. And, and the guy I got it from was just like, yeah, the shop that did the swap said... Uh, it's probably best if you do um, a valve adjustment and now that I'm driving it again that's literally the first thing I did and when we were doing it the intake side wasn't crazy out of spec but the exhaust side was way out of spec like it almost felt like the exhaust valves were just open the entire time it was it was pretty crazy uh, so we got everything into spec and that that ticking noise that you you probably just heard like when I turned the car on was actually a bit louder now it's a little better manageable I still have to do an oil change and stuff like that I don't think that's going to help too much but obviously you know all that kind of stuff helps it also hasn't had an oil change in a really long time because it sat when he had it and then I didn't really drive it so now I'm driving it so I just want to do it so I know when it got done um but yeah I don't really know what that sound is uh I'm gonna go around and try to like shake some pulleys and shit like that maybe there's like maybe it's once something's loose and it's just like clacking but it it matches the rpm of the motor so i'm like slightly afraid that maybe there's like a bent valve in there but i don't have any check engine lights or anything like that but it very much sounds just like head chatter and everywhere i look online which is obviously like the first place i started everyone's like oh it's your injectors and i'm like nah dude it's, it's got to be way louder than injectors i don't care how loud people say k-series injectors are like i don't think that's it and also that just some k-series uh, especially like base motors have really loud ticking noises and stuff um, I even saw a video with Eric the car guy where he had like an element and he did a valve adjustment and it almost had the same sound really loud but the motor can't have more than like 100k it's getting hot in here guys I gotta open this door um, but yeah so I'm really wondering what it is it, it seems to, to drive and ride fine it's a little sluggish but I mean I don't know I think it's also needs a better intake it's just like kind of feeling like it's somewhat restricted but I don't know it's a base motor so we'll see but it still feels torquey it still drives fine I still have a lot of fun with the car so I'm not complaining um, the more I drive with the noise the more nerve-wracking it is though because like I don't really know what it is I just know that like oh, it's driving all right, but you never know I don't want to be driving on the fucking freeway and then just like well That's it. So slowly but surely I'm trying to knock that out and trying to mess with it, but um Yeah, that's where I'm at uh, As soon as I'm done with this I will start today's vlog and then we'll kind of go from there. But yeah, did a valve adjustment, got to do an oil change, car's driving really well. I just filled the tank up. So um, yeah, we'll just keep going one step at a time. Um, cool guys, uh, that's a little update. Hit that like button, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks guys, peace.